We gather for worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin, first keeping a moment of quiet reflection. sinned against thee and against our neighbour, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve thee in newness of life, to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray. O Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfil them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. After fourteen years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas, taking Titus along with me. I went up in response to a revelation. Then I laid before them, though only in a private meeting and with the acknowledged leaders, the gospel that I proclaim among the Gentiles, in order to make sure that I was not running, or had run, in vain. On the contrary, when they saw that I had been entrusted with the gospel for the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been entrusted with the gospel for the circumcised, for he who worked through Peter, making him an apostle to the circumcised, also worked through me in sending me to the Gentiles. And when James and Cephas and John, who were acknowledged pillars, recognised the grace that had been given to me, they gave to Barnabas and me the right hand of fellowship, agreeing that we should go to the Gentiles, and they to the circumcised. They asked only one thing, that we remember the poor, which was actually what I was eager to do. But when Cephas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he stood self-condemned. For until certain people came from James, he used to eat with the Gentiles. But after they came, he drew back, and kept himself separate for fear of the circumcision faction. And the other Jews joined him in this hypocrisy, so that even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that they were not acting consistently with the truth of the gospel, I said to Cephas before them all, If you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you compel the Gentiles to live like Jews. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, he will bring God's name to all the nations. 
he will bring God's name to all the nations. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations, praise him, all you peoples. He will bring God's name to all the nations. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. He will bring God's name to all the nations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us, and do not bring us to the time of trial. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. So in the power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Holy and loving God, we thank you for the life of your Church throughout the world. We continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. We give thanks for the life of this diocese, for Christopher our Bishop, and for all Christian communities in his care. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we pray for our nation in these days of uncertainty, for the government and the opposition, for all who represent us in Parliament, in the Senedd in Cardiff, in the Scottish Parliament, and in the Northern Ireland Executive. We pray for all whom you call to the position of political responsibility. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We give thanks for the communities in which you set us, for our friends and families, our neighbours and our colleagues. We thank you for this community of Carsholton giving thanks for its history, its diversity, its vitality. We pray for all engaged in business and commerce locally, for those involved in providing recreation and healthcare facilities, all who work in the voluntary and charitable sectors, and those who work to keep our streets and parks <coughs> safe and clean. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. We pray for those whom we know to be in particular need of your healing touch at this time. All those whose names are laid upon the altars of this church. All those who are anxious about the outcome of medical tests. Those recovering from surgery and those whose treatment is long-term. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Holy and loving God, we give you thanks for all who have walked with us the way of faith and who are now at rest. For all those 
who lie within this church and churchyard. All who have encouraged us in our own Christian pilgrimage, and all who have died in recent times, including Leo de Rawson, Jill Hale, and Julie Mountain. For all whose anniversary is at about this time, including James Stewart, Frank Carter, Emily Bromwich, and Ruth Green. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so we gather up these and all of our prayers in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. Merciful Father, accept Merciful these prayers Lord. for the Lord, sake Lord, of thy Lord, Son, Lord, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. Peace of the Lord be always with you. And with us, yes. So we offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Blessed are you, the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of all Blessed are you, the Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of all creation. The Lord be with you. And with us, yes. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It's very trying to do. Father, you made the world and loved your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you, with saints and angels praising you, and saying, Holy, 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 mm -hmm. Lord God of the heavens, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory, glory be to thee, thee O Lord most high. high. Blessed, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. Mm -hmm. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit broken bread and wine out poured, may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised them, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
as often as you drink, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with blessed Mary and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are you. O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so in faith and love we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from our evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are men, we are one of body, for we will share in the Lord's bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to this man to come out of my room, but speak the word of my servant. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. 
grant that we may love you with our whole heart and our neighbours as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Christ, who has nourished us with himself, the living bread, make you one in praise and love, and raise you up at the last day. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.